Lead generation should be your lifeblood of your business, whether traditional, direct selling, or MLM without leads to prospect to. How can you expect to get any sales? Getting leads is so important to your business that it should be your number one priority. Hey, good day folks, I'm André Jvog and I'm your friendly host here for Career FH. If you think from a prospect's perspective, it can be a lot easier to figure out what they want and how to address them. Future customers generally start the cycle by having a problem. They then try to figure it out and do more research to find a solution. Once they feel comfortable with the solution that they've made, they move on to make the buying decision and bam, voila, a sale is made. If you're able to offer good, valuable, educational content when they are making the research and structure your offer around that, then you will be able to guide them into spending their money onto your products or services. Remember, you didn't try to sell your prospect on anything. You simply offered a solution to the problem and the most important part to realize is that they came up with a buying decision by themselves. People generally love to buy because they want to. It's emotional and impulsive. However, that being said, they also hate being sold to because that's like telling them what to do, which is perceived as bad. Let me ask you, do you like to be told what to do? Exactly. Neither does your prospect. Lead generation is more prone to happen if you're seen as a trustworthy expert. Don't use those screaming ads, you know, that says buy everything or anything cheesy that incorporates too much of the hype. That's so 1980s. Instead, focus your efforts on the facts and benefits that show how valuable your products or services can be to the potential buyer. Be transparent and honest. Over time, people will get to trust you and to know you. At this point, they will be more likely to follow what you recommend. Always be aware of other people's privacy and wishes. Be mindful of leads that choose against receiving additional offers and incentives. Basically, don't spam the hell out of them. Otherwise, you may develop a reputation as a spammer and you really don't want that. Make sure when your prospect's email goes into your autoresponder, it follows the laws in the United States and Canada, and the email etiquette like unsubscribe button, company information, etc. A company like Aweber is an industry leader when it comes to building and creating your leads generation campaigns, and it works great with any traditional or online businesses. If you are looking more at generating your own leads for your network marketing campaign or MLM opportunity, then I would strongly suggest that you take a closer look at the MLSP platform. MLSP is a leading provider lead generation system that I personally use. The value I get in terms of internet marketing training, services, pre-written autoresponder ad copy, pre-done for me landing pages, etc. by far supersedes all my expectation is a must have for my business. If you are buying leads or doing co-registration, always confirm that the leads that you're getting are original so that you don't pay for duplicates. It's quite easy for a lead to end up on multiple times in your lead generation process. But don't get hung up on this. Companies are good for that. I mean, if that situation happens, they will usually replace the duplicates at no cost. Okay, back to offline lead generation techniques. Try talking with other similar business owners in your area and let them know about your products or services. Example, if you are a knowledgeable landscaper, you could always talk to a house builder and have them recommend your services to his clients. Personal trainers can talk to dietitians so they have a complete program tailored for the person who wants to lose weight through diet and now exercise. If you're a lawyer, you can talk to realtors, etc. The point is to offer great value to the other business owner's customer without competing against each other. So, if you are an expert in a particular field, don't be afraid to share your insights and knowledge with other professionals in your community. In summary, there are many ways for lead generation to occur using today's creative methods and networking with other people. Using today's technologies automate the process and facilitates tremendously maintaining your leads database according to the law. You should now have a better idea on how to do well with your lead generation. Take that new knowledge and put it to good use immediately. Taking action now will help you achieve your goals sooner. What about you? Where do you stand in your lead generation process? Share your thoughts and comments down below. And thanks for watching this episode of Career FH. Start your career from home today. If you want more tips and tricks on starting your own career from home, then come visit our blog at www.careerfh.com. There you will find more in-depth videos and information to get you started and off the ground. If you got value out of this video, then show us your appreciation by clicking on the like button, share it with your friends and family, and to get more videos like these, make sure you subscribe. Like always, have an awesome day and cheers everybody. Yeah.